In fact, cyber attacks on companies like Target and eBay are becoming more and more common. And one Internet security firm says that these attacks, if they're even discovered, not only put customers at risk, but also the company's top executives. Josh Lipton has more. Trustwave, a cybersecurity firm, investigated nearly 700 hacks in 2013. Retail was the top industry compromise, making up 35 percent of the attacks. Food and beverage ranked second, and hospitality ranked third. They're all similar in that uh, they have many locations that are target rich in that they have a lot of transactions uh, uh, from customers going to those locations. Uh, and it, they have a lot of different vendors that are used in those environments. Hackers continue to try and steal credit cards, but they're also increasingly going after information such as financial account credentials, internal communications, and merchant ID numbers, anything they can sell in the black market for financial gain. The credit card information, that's easy to turn a quick buck uh, and to sell on the black market and uh, to get quick funds. The other is usually used by nation states uh, for obtaining secrets of organizations, how they build things, blueprints, um, blackmail, things like that. A breach doesn't just mean headaches for a CEO, it can also mean their jobs. A number of CEOs stepped down after their companies experienced attacks. In addition to Target, AOL's tech chief resigned after a breach, as did the CEO of Sony, Living Social, and three CEOs of three Korean financial firms. These companies were experiencing other problems at the time, so their resignations can't solely be attributed to data theft, but no doubt it had something to do with it. Experts say no company is immune to hacking attacks, which is why spending on cybersecurity continues to rise, growing at roughly 15% annually, outpacing the growth in overall IT budgets at just 2%. And what's more, these attacks aren't always detected. Trustwave says 71% of firms aren't even detecting the breach on their own, and when they do, the average time it takes them to notice it, nearly three months. Josh Lipton, Nightly Business Report.